What's going on, guys? This is JT here. I am here with my man, Dan Heilman. He is another YouTuber that plays Rage of Destiny plus a lot of other mobile games. Go ahead and say hi to everyone, Dan. Hey, JT and everyone. Thanks for having me on the channel. Appreciate it. Heck yeah, man. Anytime. All right. So first, we're going to start off with this question. What attracted you to Rage of Destiny and to download the game? Ooh, most of the games that I play, I actually get recommended from other players on Discord. They'll be like, oh, I picked up this game. It's really cool. You should give it a try. So yeah. that's really how I try most games. Okay, so that's basically, that's honestly the same way I got involved too. Because my best friend Poke, he was like, JT, bro, you got to try this new game. It's from IGG. And that's kind of what made me hesitant a little bit. And so that's actually how I got the game as well. Okay, so here we go. What keeps you playing Rage of Destiny every day? In the beginning, I really just got hooked by the graphics and the game modes and collecting uh, new heroes and stuff like that. I'm a huge fan of the gacha games. There's something yes. about me where I just like to collect all the different heroes and gear them up. So No doubt about that. I agree with that. Would you consider Rage of Destiny to be free-to-play friendly? Yeah, for sure. I mean, yeah. I really feel like every game is free to play friendly. When you spend money, it usually just kind of accelerates how fast you can get to the end game, really. Okay, so a quick question on the same topic. The reason why I don't think every game's free to play friendly, this is why, because we are coming, I'm coming from another game to where literally the only way to get things in the game is to spend money. So for example, oh. yeah, so in Rage, all free to play players can get every single hero, right? In other yes. games, we can't. So that is where like I cut off like the free to play friendly thing whenever they're like, well, here, this hero basically kills everything, but free to play players can't have it. You know what I mean? Gotcha. Yeah. I, I haven't actually played any games where you can't get everything free to play. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So Castle Clash, a game made by IGG, same company as this, has a game in the past like that. But this is all, that's also what turned me on to Rage of Destiny, the simple fact that all free-to-play players can get anything. And just over time, basically in, in, in Rage of Destiny, what you're spending money on is time, right? For sure. For yep, sure. Okay. 100%. So, how many hours each day do you play Rage, and what do you always make sure you get done in the game daily? Um, well, if I have a lot of time, if I have the time to do everything, it's about an hour, hour and a half. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through, the first thing I do is I go to the shop and I make sure I purchase uh, dust, because dust is like the hardest thing when yes, you're leveling up. Yes, it is. <laughs> listen, free-to-play players, listen. <laughs> yeah, always buy dust. I, I buy dust, I refresh the shop once, and then I buy di dust again. And then I'll go through, and I'll do dragon. I will do the guild boss. I will go through and just collect all the guild loot there. Um, yeah. Um, I'll do the one challenge. I basically try to get the dailies done. So if you do the daily missions, I try to complete everything on the daily mission list. Okay. And that's kind of my goal for the day. Yeah, for sure. So one question about the dust. Do you only buy the dust whenever it's, let's say, 30 or 40% off? Or do you just buy it no matter what? Um, I usually buy it at a discount only. Okay. Yeah. Just, yeah. I just wanted to make that clear so you guys knew that as well. Because on my free-to-play player, I've been paying attention to that. I'm like, yeah, I'll buy the dust if it has a percentage off. And Dragon's Den also provides it with a percentage off sometimes if you get lucky. Okay. Yeah. And if I get it for gold, I'll usually buy it for gold just because I have accumulated so much gold that that's not an issue. And that's a thing that I have done on my free-to-play and my main account now. You actually get way more gold than other resources. So, yeah, that is yep. a good thing. So yep. do you play every battle or do you auto play every battle or do you manual them sometimes? I auto play every battle. Every battle. So you've never even manualed once in this game. Only when they forced you to do it in the first five minutes of the game. Yeah. And actually <laughs> I've been the same way as far as auto in every battle as well, because there's really not quite a need I found to manual it. But I feel like if the time comes right, I'm not afraid to manual the battle. I just haven't had to. Or I, I wouldn't say I hadn't had to. I just haven't done it yet, to be honest with you. I just haven't. Done yeah, it. the only way I could see it is maybe in Dragon. I think if you are, like, if you want to save an ulti to the next battle, because I think the energy carries over in Dragon, if I'm not mistaken. Wow, that's actually very interesting. I didn't quite agree. Yeah, yeah, it, At, do it does, because you can pick up Rage Potions. Oh, yeah, good point. So, yeah, that would be the only way I could see you manualing is, you know, it's near the end of the battle and you don't want to waste the ultimate, maybe yeah. save it for the next battle. Yeah. That'd be maybe the only way to do it. That's, a, that's, that's true. OK, so in my opinion, Rage has built an awesome game, but really doesn't have any players. How do you think IGG should promote Rage to make it more popular? Um, that's a good question. So the other games, uh, like Magnum Quest, they seem to do a lot more advertising. And I don't think Rage of Destiny does very many advertisements. Yeah. And 
even their main YouTube channel, I mean, I have more subs than their channel does, so yeah. and, and get a lot more views on videos as well. So I just think they need a little bit more promotion on the game. Dude, I am in 100% agreement with that. They definitely need to do more advertisements all the way across the board. So we got, I think there should be a guild PvP where everyone uses the same balanced heroes in battle. Each player of the guild sets up three teams and sends them in to conquer an objective. How do you feel about different game modes or different things as far as that? You know, that's interesting because I think their brand new game, Mythic Heroes, has that feature. Really? Uh, the brand new IGG game. Yeah, so I think they do have Guild Wars. I, I haven't played it very much, but I was messing around actually yesterday, and I did notice some sort of a guild uh, battle function that they had in there. I think that'd be great, because right now, um, the guild, I mean, you challenge the boss, but you don't really do anything as a guild, right? right. And that's where I want to see the game go towards, is to have everybody in the guild have to participate and do something together, which they definitely have the availability to do that, and also with Android and iOS all being on the same server, that's a pretty big advantage, you know, because the last game I played, iOS and Android were on completely different servers, which stumped because when I made YouTube videos and I did giveaways, people were like, oh, well, uh, I'm Android. I can't use the gift card or I'm iOS. Can't you know what I mean? So I was like, oh, oh yeah. Yeah, that was kind of a headache. Okay, so here's a question. Who is your favorite hero in Rage of Destiny? Oh man, that's a different that's a difficult one. I mean, Paulus has been my carry for a long time. He's my huge damage dealer. Yes. Um I use Lovelace all the time and Yolana all the time. Those are yes. probably my uh top three. No doubt about that. And just so you guys know, Paulus, you guys that need to stay on top of Paulus, in my opinion, he's the best free-to-play hero in the game because you can get him from the shop from Dragon's Den, which is a huge advantage. And to be able to keep getting a hero over and over and over again in this game is very important because the more copies of a hero you have, the higher level you can get him. Yep. No doubt about and he's my first and only uh, five-star, so... Oh, Paulus was your first and only five star, no doubt. So, yep. whenever you were getting Paulus, would you? How how was the main way that you kept getting him over and over? What were you specifically doing? What? I did the shadow faction summons a lot. Whenever I got fr uh, faction tickets, I would I use them on. Yes. Is it Shadow or shadow. Dark? I, I forget. It's shadow. shadow. Okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I used it on Shadow. You actually get him from a couple of the Eternal Battlefields. I think you get like a, a, a already ascended version from one. Yeah. Uh, you get him from events. They did a Polis event in the beginning. So there's, and uh, of course, the uh, Dragon's Den stuff. So there's actually a good amount of ways to get Polis. Yeah. And that Polis event still exists. So if you guys do download the game, it's there to where you can get a free Polis on your free to play. I'm actually working it on my free to play account right now. Yep. So yeah, it just depends on it's like a couple days after you begin, then you'll yeah. get the Paulus event. So I don't know. You know, cool. believe it or not, I don't know if it's if it was like this in the past, but the first event was a different hero. No, it was a uh, what's that? What's that? What's the uh, nature hero? Hathro? Hathro. It was a Hathro event on my free to play account, and then it went to Paulus. So okay. the final yeah. question is any advice for IGG, the creators of Rage of Destiny for the next updates to come? Oh man, um, maybe some sort of a new game mode. I know they do like the events where it's like, oh, they'll have this event for like a week, but maybe yeah. just something else. As we were saying, maybe some sort of a guild event. That'd be yeah. cool, like a guild battle. That's a great idea. I agree. I agree with the guild battles. When it comes to Eternal Battlefield and also the realm of, uh, what's that realm called? The realm of illusions, I believe. Yeah. When it comes yep. to the realm of the illusions, um, I feel like they should update the realm of illusions a little bit uh, more frequently. Instead of having like a two week break, maybe just every Sunday, just reset it with another realm or something, just to keep the players moving. Because I've seen that, I've seen a couple of my players that uh, I've talked to have gotten stuck. Like some days they'll wake up and they won't be able to pass like a campaign, uh, a campaign chapter, right? And so, have you ever been in that situation? I've been stuck on the same campaign level, uh, 24, 24 for, I think two months now. <laughs> yeah. So whenever somebody's stuck at 24, 24 for a long time, they should have like a realm of illusions that gives you like an absurd amount of something to help give you that extra boost you need. You know what I mean? And also one more question that's not in my sheet, but I wanted to add this. Do, what do you think about switching heroes up to maybe get through another battle if you're stuck? Do you find that being effective, or do you think that just since your since some of your heroes are geared up and maxed out, should you just only use those, or is it worth your time to switch things up? There's certain situations where I use different heroes. Um, 
like sometimes I'll use uh, Tisithia, even even in later stages, surprisingly, even though she has the the level, what is it, 160 cap. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes I'll even use Tisithia because she can get a couple stuns off in the very beginning, which are huge. Which are, yeah. Um, Allow those other heroes to proc, such as Paulus. Sorry to interrupt you there. Hey, no problem. And then uh, the other one is, uh, I think his name's Demetrius, the yes. um, the shadow guy. I use him a lot to pull healers. So yes. like when you're facing Eliosa, she is like terrible, especially when she's with Kratos, the the other nature <laughs> tank guy. Those two together are like unkillable. So yeah, I'll use him to like pull her. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He revives and charges across the screen and hits a bunch of units. So yes, yeah. no doubt. Yes. I think I think switching up teams is a good method. You know, sometimes you like for me, I only have like five people that I've invested in heavily. So most of the time I'm gonna use those units, but sometimes I do change up the teams um and even yeah. just their locations and stuff like that. And and sometimes it just takes like 20, 30, 40 attempts. It does. It does because be RNG comes it comes in certain situations. I have one more question, actually. I didn't have this one either. Whenever you're playing, you might know this way better than me because I don't have that much experience with Paulus yet. But when Paulus procs and it says that Paulus silences the heroes, what does that do exactly? It just stops them from using their abilities. So they'll just sit there and auto attack for a bit. So they don't, they're not allowed to use their ultimate. I don't think they can use any abilities. I think no they just abilities. are stuck auto attacking for a little bit. Really? So they're stuck. I think so. It shows okay. the it shows the big like silence I, I know, symbol above I know. their head. I've seen the and it point. seems they kind of just stand there and just just okay, use the okay. normal. I could have sworn that I was talking to Poke and he said that he silenced something with his Paulus and then saw the other hero proc. But I have not tested this out yet. That's why I was asking you first. So I, I really don't know. I'm yet. not quite sure, but I, if yeah. to me it just seems like they can't do anything. Yeah, they, yeah. I've kind of something to test to just out. Something there. to test out. Well, hey Dan, thank you very much for joining me with this interview, dude. I really appreciate your time. Do you have anything you want to say to anybody? before we head out besides subscribe to my boy dan heilman over here <laughs> and there will <laughs> yeah, be a link, to, a link to his channel in the description so make sure you guys click that link joe go check out dan heilman's youtube page and yeah guys we are out of here thank you for your time again dan all righty yep have a good one